Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our second installment of Meditation Mornings. This week, we're going to be focusing on just being. I loved in our series on Genesis, considering and thinking about being created by God and the fact that God has created us with purpose. We want to be men and women who are present with the people that we love and grounded with where we are, as well as open to the ways that God communicates with us, which can often be difficult to do when our minds are filled with unimportant things in this life. It's interesting how in a world where much has slowed down, how many of us are feeling even busier than ever, whether you're telecommuting from work or now in charge of taking care of the kids full time or in a period of just waiting to see what happens next. We are still quite busy, um, and the heart has a leaning to not want to be still before God. Let's take this time to commune with God and open up space so that we can value being with Him above all else. Started, but before we do, feel free to find a place where you feel comfortable. I personally love being outside and being able to see God's creation all around me. Some of you may feel less comfortable with that, um, whether it's because being outside is distracting with all the noises or you have a special place in your home that you already love. So feel free to find a chair that you feel cozy in or on the ground um, works also. Let's begin. Sit or lie down in a position that you feel comfortable in. Whether it's on a chair with your feet firmly planted on the ground or on the floor. Place your hands on your knees and close your eyes if you are comfortable to do so. Let's begin with some breathing. Take a big breath in and out. And in and out. Take note of your belly being filled with air as you breathe in and emptying as you breathe out. Notice some of the tension you may be carrying in your body. Try relaxing whatever muscles or parts of your body that feel stiff or tense. You might be hearing noises or distractions around you while you're breathing, but gently bring your attention back to your breath. Take a moment to appreciate that God is breathing life into your body through every breath. Consider all the aspects of your body that are moving perfectly together to allow for you to take breaths in and out. As you continue doing this, let us begin our meditation with a prayer. Dear God, I don't understand my heart and why it is always five steps ahead all the time. Father, you call us to be still and present and to not live a life of hurry, and I praise you for that. Lord, I pray you clear our minds of distractions. Help us feel able and confident to sit at your feet with no worry or fear in our hearts. We love you. In your son's name we pray. Now take a moment to pray to God in your heart. God desires for us to experience stillness before him so that we can enjoy his presence in our lives. What has caused you to be distracted and robbed you of freedom to just be this week? share that with him now. Listen carefully to these words as we read 
from Luke 10, verses 38 to 42 in the NIV version. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. What struck out to you about the scripture? What words stood out to you? Take a moment to meditate on them. Let us read the same scripture together in LT version. As Jesus and the disciples continued on their way to Jerusalem, they came to a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. Her sister Mary sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he taught. But Martha was distracted by the big dinner she was preparing. She came to Jesus and said, Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work. Tell her to come and help me. But the Lord said to her, My dear Martha, you are worried and upset over all these details. There is only one thing worth being concerned about. Mary has discovered it, and it will not be taken away from her. What words did you notice were different? Did anything new prick at your heart? Ponder those things for a moment. In what ways have you allowed your heart to be consumed by distractions unworthy of your attention? How have you valued things more than being in the presence of Jesus? Spend time praying and confessing to God. Now consider all the ways that Jesus wants to free you from the unworthy things of this world, from your responsibilities, duties, and identities, and just be with you. There is so much to be done, yet very little is required of us. God desires most is our hearts. Spend time in gratitude towards the one who accepts and loves you as you are. Let us read part of Psalm 139 together. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. 
In scripture, it says that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. That to God, you inspire awe to other parts of creation because he has made you so beautifully. Take a moment to consider how wonderfully made you are. Now let us close in a word of prayer. Father, it is so great to be near you this morning, Father. God, I know that there are many things that pull at our attention, God, important things. Father, I know even Martha and the things that she were, was doing was important, Father. That in many ways she was doing the right thing, God. And I know many of us have responsibilities to our families, to our to our school, to many other things in our life, God. And yet what I love so much about you, God, is that you have the wisdom to call our attention to what's most important, God, which is spending time with you. Father, I pray that you free us, God, from the bondage that is expectation, God, expectation of ourselves, expectation of other people. God, help us to really love being with you, God. I pray that you can help us to embrace the things you desire for us to embrace, God, in order to cultivate true intimacy with you, God. Lord, we love you, and we are so grateful for you. And it's your son's name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining the Capital Rivers Church as we meditate on God's word together. We hope it was helpful and that you genuinely enjoyed being in the presence of God today. Feel free to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get notifications on when our videos will be posted next. Hope you have a great day and we hope to see you soon. Take care.